Part number three, standard labor productivity rates. I will give you these files and I will explain how to use them. These very, very useful files will tell you what is the standard productivity rates for all the construction works. Let's see how to search and the, get the correct productivity rates from the productivity rates files. The productivity rates file is divided by the division. So this is division one general requirement, division two site work, division three concrete uh, concrete labor, division four masonry labor, division five metal and so on. And as we talked earlier in our lessons, that this is the standard division of work. So this is a standard. So we should go to the required division. For example, here I choose division number four, which is the masonry labor, and I'm going to explain how to read. The data in one of the files but I'm giving you all the division up to division number 16 this is the file for the masonry work you have here the CSI code and you have here the item description you have here the unit you have here the crew structure this is the daily output of the crew uh, as per the units and this is the man hours and this is the equipment as well so our concern here or is the man hours let's take for example the masonry walls we have walls break this is the dimension of the walls you have to find something very similar to the if you want to make something very accurate you have to get something very similar to your uh, sizes and the material and so on so this is walls and this is dimension we have here this is the crew this is the foreman which is supervision stuff this is equipment this is the main manpower so our crew contains of three let's say masons they use here another word for masons but let's say mason you have a crew of three masons and two helper will give you 3.9 square meter per hour so in order to know what is the productivity for one mason just simply divide this number by three and then multiply it by how many hours your mason are going to work eight hours ten hours whatever this will give you the standard productivity for the mason then you have to do the same for the helper divide this quantity by two helper then multiply it by how many hours you will work let's see where to put this the result of this cal simple calculation will be added here the result of this calculation will be added here in the productivity per unit cell so you have to check the main you have the mason plaster tile mason painter carpenter steel fixer and so on so simply here we have here our division of work let's say concreting so this is a division number three so you need to go to division number three and look for the plain concrete footing and find the proper productivity rate for this item and just put it here and uh, to the related uh, manpower so this is one of the benefits why we use this division number your work standard it will be easy to uh, uh, merge your work and uh, with uh, with other sheets and so on so for example here we have wall 100 thick we will calculate we'll find what is the uh, proper productivity rate for the mason for the tile mason and we can add it here this is very simple and these files you will help you to identify the standard productivity rates and uh, of course you can search the internet you can use your uh, local productivity rates or your company productivity rates because it is different from nationality to another nationality and depending on the work condition and so on so this is how to use our sheet here again you can go to another item this is concrete block including scaffolding for example the unit here is a square meter 
this is the crew so four will produce 1.3 square meter and here the description of your activity simply divide this by the numbers of the skilled labor then multiply it by how many hours they are working then put the result here and that's it now let's go and see how to put this in Primavera.